This is three days after all of the recordings in this video. I'm going to briefly go over what happened prior and after the contents of the remainder of this video. So basically, um, February 14th, Valentine's Day, uh, a storm rolled in. It was like, it's the lowest I saw it get, get to was one degree, uh, but it was basically around between five and 15 for a really long time. Uh, our infrastructure is not set up for this whatsoever in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And uh, we don't have road crews. Uh, our power system sucks. We have uh, a lot of windmills that froze. Like I think 12% of the energy in Texas is based from or comes from windmills. They froze. They had to be DI, so we lost a lot of power in that. Um, in this state, in the entire state, through different counties, cities, whatever, uh, certain people have lost power. Certain people have lost gas, and certain people have lost water. Uh, those of us that still have water, that we're under like a boiling water uh, effect or something like that. Some some issue where we have to boil our water because there's fear that it's basically Mexican water. It's all contaminated or something. So um, this is continuing going on. This is February 18th. Uh, there's no timeline as to when any of this stuff is going to end. Uh, I started making this video as a vlog just to kind of show what it was like, but uh, it got a lot worse after this video, um, February 16th, we had no power the whole day. Um, I actually started getting really, really cold in the house. Um, the generator was the only thing creating heat. Um, we never actually did start a fire. We could have, but we just didn't do it. Um, and throughout like Tuesday and Wednesday, um, we hardly had any power at all. I mean, it came on, it would come on for like two hours at a time and then be off for like 10 hours, something like that. Um, yesterday we got power uh, midday, which is how I was able to edit this video because I wasn't going to waste part of the power uh, screwing with the computer and trying to fix it when we were all trying to make all of our power in the living room and just keep all the heat in there and just stay in there so we can keep as much heat in a small space as possible. Not really venturing off to other parts of the house if we really didn't need to. So uh, we did have TV, we did power up the TV, the refrigerator, all that stuff. We do have gas stove and gas uh, water heater, so we did have hot water, uh, the ability to cook, and uh, you know, a refrigerator with all our food in it, and we could watch movies on Blu-ray because we have a Blu-ray player and like a hundred thousand Blu-rays. Um, so that was good. Uh, other than that, uh, this is a continuing thing. Like I said, our infrastructure is totally not set up for this at all. People, I mean, they gave us all these warnings saying, you know, to stock up on food and all this stuff, and everyone ignores it just like anything else. And um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of people Without food, um, there have been some deaths because of this. I wish I had video of us going to the actual gas station and uh, going through where people just like raided everything. Um, I guess there was some looting because we saw some places that had been broken into, glass doors that were broken out. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's pretty dire for a lot of people. We have had we're probably a little bit better prepared, you know, because we do have a generator and we did have a lot of food. We really weren't. In need of food and we have plenty of water we have a lot of stuff so I'm not trying to brag I'm just saying we we're a little bit prepared we weren't as prepared as we should have been or as prepared as probably a lot of other people were but a little bit better prepared than some so uh, this little this is just a little vlog of what I did on the 15th because I like I said I turned my truck on or tried to turn my truck on, on the 14th it was dead went out and bought batteries for it um, and uh, yeah, a lot, of, and that has a th other thing to do. Something about we have all this power from windmills that, that froze. The windmills froze, and we have some nuclear power where they have some sensors that some I don't know the technology, but somehow runs part of it or operates it or makes it function in certain 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 way. And those froze, so they like were inoperable. And then we had some battery reserve um, from windmills that like lost sixty percent of the power they had in reserve because they were frozen. <laughs> so 
fossil fuels for the win on this one. Um, but yeah, so I, at the end of this video, I say, well, there's more uh, to this video tomorrow. There's not. I couldn't record. I couldn't charge anything. I couldn't, re I couldn't charge my Nikon. I charged my phone. A lot of this was filmed on my phone. But um, I didn't make any more films because we were just huddled up in the house. The only time we went out is to get fuel for the generator. And I, I didn't bother um, trying to record it because I was just trying to get back to the house. So anyway, enjoy the video, folks. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are here. Today is February 15th. This is a uh, record day here in uh, my neck of the woods, uh, the North Texas area. I guess there's like 10 inches of snow accumulation in certain areas, which here is uh, very unprecedented. Um, we're having rolling blackouts, so all the power on this entire street is out. Uh, they're doing that on purpose. They're um, shutting off the electricity to certain areas to preserve electricity for other areas. And right now we have no electricity. Uh, my batteries in my truck have died. They did that yesterday. I actually went out and bought batteries, so I'm going to be doing that now because I am going to have to get out of here later today. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty cold. It's like 6 degrees right now, which again is pretty unprecedented for this area. So yeah, today I'll just do a little vlog. Uh, probably I might add in some clips yesterday. We did some driving to buy the batteries and stuff. and I uh, tried to do some donuts in the parking lot at the mall, but the truck wouldn't gain traction, so it just kind of kind of spun and didn't didn't really look that good, but it was kind of fun. Had some cameraman issues in the process of that, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, right now what I'll be doing is uh, installing these batteries. So not sure if I'll be able to get that on film because I don't know where I can put this camera to get the angle, but uh, we'll get to it. So I'll be back. Alright guys, excuse the mess, I uh, got this truck warming up in here so it'll actually get warm because it is like 5 degrees so I don't want the diesel to gel up. But I, it reminds me to, or brings to my attention to show you guys this. I was a little bit low on coolant so I went ahead and topped that off so if you're ever in a situation like this, make sure you have coolant or it won't be good. Uh, another thing, this right here for people in the south probably don't know much about this but uh, winter diesel fuel treatment so basically I remember being taught this when I first went over the road because uh, it you know where I live it never gets below 10 degrees that's about as cold as it'll ever get so this is about colder than it ever <laughs> ever gets um, but I was always told if it gets less than 10 degrees or 5 degrees to idle the truck and keep the truck uh, you know on so the, the diesel doesn't gel up 
Well, this treatment right here is, um, I don't remember. It's like, I think you pour a whole bottles for a hundred gallons in severe weather treatment, or weather, uh, like, like what it is now, like five degrees or less. So that's for, obviously that's for a semi, but uh, I got about 25 gallons in this truck, so that's about a quarter. So I put about a quarter of a bottle of this stuff in there um, just to make sure the diesel doesn't gel up. So that's, this is a, a good tip for everyone who's preparing for the winter. I, I know it's a little bit late now, but better late than never. So this stuff is good. I had that in there, and uh, once I changed the batteries, the truck fired right up. So I don't know if it would have fired up anyway, but uh, doesn't definitely doesn't hurt to have it. Okay, everyone, we are back in the office. Uh, one other thing I want to show you guys uh, that you should have if uh, in an event like this with power outage, so you have no power using this ah, flashlight <laughs> as, uh, as my light. So, another good EDC tool, or not EDC necessarily, but uh, something to pack. One of these uh, anchor uh, charger things. I got this one fully charged so I can actually charge my phone. Uh, if I can get it out of my pocket. And that has brought my phone, as you can see. Oh, if I can get this phone to open. Alright, see there, it is charging. And, uh, come on, focus, man. Alright, we're having some technical difficulties. Um, yeah, this little O light right here is doing a really good job of completely illuminating this room. Yeah, so, um, it's also supposed to snow on Wednesday, uh, two days from now, and, uh, it's seven degrees, so it's probably gonna get worse, and in Texas we can't deal with this type of stuff, so that's why our power's out, and why the roads are still crap, and no one's, there's no sand trucks, or we don't have salt down here, so there's nothing on the road, so. It is what it is, gotta deal with what we got. Hey, buddy. Hey, who's got a rain jacket on in the snow? Yeah. Yeah, look. Check out how deep that shit is. I know. Yeah, you can tell really nobody's driving, so that's kind of what I want to go do. Is just see, uh, see exactly how bad the roads are. See if top flight security is over here at the mall preventing everybody from having a little bit of fun like they do. Let's see. Are they there? I don't see them. Do you see them? Uh oh, we're not even gonna get up this hill. Hold <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, put it forward drive. Forward drive. Did your transmission just pop? No. All right, we ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Let's put it in four wheel low. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, we're going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just let it go. In reverse and let's see. Dude, I couldn't get up Esther's bridge probably in my can, Corolla. Let's see if we can do it now. Alright, this is four low. Hey. Alright, now we're um, two wheel drive. There's people there, there might be security. I think that's security. That might be security. I would wait. It looks like we were just checking to see if it was open or not, but I look pretty. I'm going to put the camera down. I uh, put that camera down. If that guy in that four wheel drive truck certainly is not security. Let's see who this is. Yeah, they're rolling three deep. They got cameras. 
No, that's just a family. And then we got some dude right here talking on his phone. Uh, All right, we're gonna go, go, go. There's no. No. There might be security over there, though. All right, well they're way over there. Oh, they're hauling ass. Oh, they're they're spinning too. <laughs> Don't hit that fire hydrant. <laughs> Okay, that might be security. God damn, <laughs> Did you have fun? That was fun. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah, that was fun. I should have got you to record that from outside. <laughs> Alright. Let's go check on Bella and see what they're up to. <laughs> You know that Chevy was just staring at us. Yeah, I know. Uh oh, this car's coming up quick. They are? Mm -hmm. Run! They're coming! Dude, if you get arrested, I can't drive this truck. I ain't gonna get arrested by a guy in a crossover. <laughs> first of all, he's gotta catch me first. That was kind of fun. <laughs> it felt like the car was like, ooh. So yeah, today's President's Day. It's also, you know, like a world record. There goes movie trading we'll company. Say world record. Record of here of snow, so. This is belt line. Everybody uh, is close. I would go really slow here. Yeah, we're going to go the speed limit here. Do no, we're going to go well below the speed limit. Let's get some see what all was closed. It looks like everything is closed. I mean, everything in the strip centers is closed. Uh, the auto parts stores are closed. Walgreens, I mean, auto parts stores are open. Walgreens appears to be open as well. Um, and that's about it. Auto parts stores and Walgreens. CVS. Oh, look, a Corolla can make it out. <laughs> People yeah. can't get up this bridge. This guy's been trying to make it for a while. He finally got up there. Is making a U-turn that necessary? All right, this light has no color. It has no red, no yellow, or green. Look, 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 look at him spinning. You just watch you film him spin. Only one tire was spinning. Look at these people honking at you. Oh man, those two cars almost hit each other. It's wild here on Esther's airport freeway. Yeah, that oh, look car. at that. That person's pissed right there. Which person? That one in that white Honda. They're like, yeah, they were mad at that car because that car wouldn't go. Just wait till everyone. Okay, so back to some more footage. Um, as you can tell, our whole neighborhood is still blacked out. Uh, my dad's here. He's warming up his truck. I'm warming up my truck. Uh, we're gonna head to uh, his shop. It's about four or five miles down the road. Uh, he's got a gas generator in there, but it's it's in there and there's gonna be no power there either. So we gotta get in there, not look like we're breaking into the place 
and uh, retrieve it, come back, and I think he's got some space heaters, so. And we might uh, try to see if we can get some wood at 7-Eleven or something and get a fire going, so. Uh, more to Winterfest 2021, yay. All right, guys, later. All right, so we are headed to the shop right now. Um, I was trying to get my dad in video, but he's taking off. He's right there. Uh, we are still, we are hour six now with no power. And uh, I have- As you can see. They say that we're only gonna be without power for 15 minutes to an hour, and it's now been six hours and 21 minutes. So, uh, oh look, we got a guy, oh no, he's not stuck. So what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go get a generator from the shop, gas generator. Hopefully we can get some, uh, some more gas for it. Um, hopefully we can find some wood. We got some That's wood. That's Arnold right there. We got some wood at the house and we got a whole bunch of mail to burn. <laughs> That's but what she said. That's what she said? The whole wood at the house. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we are voyaging out here at, the, at a very, terrible time to be on the road so we will be back everybody Oops. all right guys check it out this is and uh, you saw this in, hey don't drop my phone <laughs> you saw this in today's earlier video with uh, uh, the ball and that's you know belt line and it's power is completely out there's irving mall right there that is a lot of stores you know these are still like some of these places are food food locations you know grocery stores and like ice cream shops all their food is, is melting you know, check cashing places open though the check cashing place oh whataburger i think whataburger well whataburger's power is on that doesn't necessarily mean they're open but yeah so anyways guys let's uh make a right here Shit, the there's lines everywhere. If you know where the lanes are, comment down below. <laughs> Damn, fun. look at that. That's crazy. And you know the cops' response time right now is about four to six hours. <laughs> Lights over here. There's the blue lights. I'm gonna paint your pants blue. I'm gonna paint your gray pants blue. And I am today. I mean, yeah, these are restaurants and stuff. You know, they got food. Well, I mean, a restaurant, they typically throw food away anyway, but that's Target. You know, Target has a grocery department, whatever. Mm -hmm. That shit's all gonna be bad now. That's nuts, dude. That's nuts. Other side of Irving Mall. Oh, I'm getting the wrong thing. Man, this is crazy. crap. You felt that? Mm -hmm. You felt that? You felt that? Mm -hmm. well, this van right here looks like he's got four wheel drivers. <laughs> I don't care. This guy's weaving in and out of here. He's like, I got it cut in the car a lot. Road's close to 183, and you gotta loop around, and then there's 183. Uh-oh, the challenger's starting to skip. Mm-hmm, look at that. Look at that. No? Are you recording? No, I am. Yeah, this is something that at least I have never in my life seen. I've never seen the state so we're like in like a winter weather emergency declaration thing. But never in my life have I seen just, what, gas stations? Just no power. Oh, there goes the four-wheeler. You know, I mean, there's just, there's no power anywhere. Everything is, everything is just shut off. It's like the grid went down. This is really when you need to be a prepper. If we were better prepared, we would have gotten this generator a few days ago. 
Mm -hmm. But at least we have a generator to get. Oh, there goes my job right there. Well, there's where Steph works. Or she will not be tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so after about, I don't know, we've been here for two hours now. Kept trying to get the generator in the back of my truck. Couldn't find a way to do it. I kept saying, let's just take one of the trailers. He was against it. Um, finally gave in. And now he's yelling at me. All right. All right, I'm going to end this video. Uh, okay, so after all the pain and suffering and heartache and trying to get it. Yes, this is the gym at the house. We finally, we finally got the generator back here. 750 watts of pure power. Alright guys, we will continue this tomorrow.